Hi, I'm 24. I'm Bianca, and last year I spent my 23rd birthday alone. Well, not entirely. I was at therapy for most of the day because, you know, I was trying to work on things. Roll the tape. A Sagittarius born blue eyed girl with a passionate aura and compassionate heart. I can't tell you the time I was born because both my parents forgot, but times and dates have never mattered much to me. Memories do. I know I generally make videos about myself, but it's pretty hard to make a video about the day you came into this world. It's a day where things change, and change kind of bugs me out. I don't know why I hold such a grudge with the idea of not getting any younger. I mean, I look the same as I did when I was 18, and I kind of feel 18 too. Unlike last year, this year we are going to fill our voids with free shit. You know, most companies give you rewards. Most companies also give you birthday treats. So without any further ado, we are on a venture this week. My birthday week? My birthday is the 28th. It's actually on Thanksgiving this year. It's actually tomorrow. Hey, how are you? So we are going to go on a little bit of an adventure and get ourselves some free birthday treats from all your faves. So our mission for this video, and obviously my birthday week, is to check off as many free things from all the chain restaurants, places, whatever, as possible, starting with Starbucks, Java, Dunkin', Moe's, Panera, Baskin Robbins, Denny's, Auntie Ants, Jersey Mike's, and Subway. Holy shit, that was a mouthful. But honey, let's make this shit happen. So obviously my excitement to make this video turned into me doing some research for this video, which I had to sign up for a million different apps, but most of them I already had, so I was super excited about it. But lo and behold, kids, free things always come at a price, so gotta log in with your email and give out your phone number to the web. Once that's all said and done, you have to lurk your Gmail some more for that special birthday message to hit your inbox. Got it? Sick you could get your day of free shit started. Leave it to Duncan to be the first to hit my box this morning. Wow, that sounds it's so weird. Anyway, Duncan baby, here I come. I figured I'd try something different since it's free instead of my usual $2 latte, so I opted for a cappuccino instead. Iced, obviously, even though I kinda wanted it hot, but I know every time I get it hot, I'm filled with instant regret and sadness. And remember, we're trying to fill our void this year with happiness, so iced for this random ass 60 degree New York City November day, by the way, to anyone off from here that's warm as hell this time of year, is perfect. I sat in Duncan for a bit and pondered the rest of my free escapades until I got to my next location. Next up was your friendly Marlborough fave, Auntie Anne's. So Auntie Anne's gives you a free pretzel of any flavor for your B-Day and actually they give you a free pretzel after you use the app just once. Kind of a win-win. I'm like the spokesperson at this point. I switch it up between cinnamon sugar and sweet almond anytime I go to the mall. And what's your poison? Comment below, KK? This was honestly sick, mainly because I literally always have to stop myself from eating Auntie Anne's, but when it's free, why would you stop? Okay, my next victim was Jamba Juice, although every time I try to use my rewards in Jamba, something goes wrong. So I was anticipating failure here. The employee was so nice and understanding when I told her, okay, I think I have a birthday reward and if I do, I'm getting something. But if I don't, I'm not getting something. Please don't hate me. So she laughed and told me I have no reward. So I took a deep breath and left Jamba without a razzmatazz. Tragic.
Luckily, Panera isn't as disappointing as Jamba, but lo and behold, there is still a story to tell. I constantly have Panera rewards or freebies, but I'm only allowed to see them when I'm physically in Panera. I don't know. I think I did something wrong because I'm clearly an 83-year-old woman who can't find her coupons and is holding up the grocery line. Anyway, I was planning on avoiding all types of social activity and going to the kiosk, but this Panera had no kiosk and I saw two of my friends in there, so the idea of laying low went totally out the window. Point blank. I had no birthday reward, which is usually a free pastry. Maybe they'll send it to me on Thursday, which will be pointless because again, Thanksgiving, but my friend works there, so she gave me her employee discount, so obviously a warm chocolate chip cookie was in my mouth, and I hopped onto my next spot. But before I actually hop into my next spot, my bank even wishes me a happy birthday. Dude, that is the cutest thing on the planet. I wish they gave me money though. Like honestly, low key, that would be so amazing. I'd be the happiest girl in the world, but like whatever. <laughs> Welcome to Moe's! This is a birthday reward I genuinely look forward to every year. I literally don't care if you judge me. A free burrito? Bitch, who wouldn't? And it's good for the entire week of your birthday, so if you don't feel like indulging in the fancy, unlimited salsa bar on your actual day of birth, you can come in the next day when you're hungover or something. Wait, do you want to know something insane? When I was in high school, my entire community of friends, like literally all of Staten Island, went to Moe's every single Tuesday after school and just mobbed out. Like, it was unreal. Picture High School Musical meets fucking Glee or something. It was insane. People were hooking up after scoffing down burritos. People would go back for seconds because they were a mere five bucks. Wow. I'm old. Oh god, here comes the breakdown. Alright, here we are waiting for emails again. Just refreshing and refreshing until we get some more free stuff. <laughs> oh, it was disastrous. Now, let me tell you about the flops. Coldstone and Carvel emailed me BOGOs, which essentially means not free. So I opted out, although, thanks guys. Maybe I'll use it one day when I could actually afford a $7 scoop of ice cream. Subway and Jersey Mike's never actually sent me my voucher, even though I get Subway anytime I pass one and I always use the app, because, you know, they pump the air with that sweet bread smell. Don't quote me on that, though. Disappointed in you, Jared. I'm kidding, we don't talk about that freak anymore. <laughs> At Denny's, you get a free grand slam on your birthday, and all you have to do is show your waitress your ID. But since I'm not eating Denny's on Thanksgiving, although, hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. No grand slam for me this year, boys. And lastly, the biggest disappointment and flop of all, Starbucks, which I'm genuinely shocked about. They only let you redeem your free drink on your actual day of birth, but I swear to God, last year I got my free drink the 27th because Instagram told me so. I guess I'll have to have a large matcha latte with a side of mashed potatoes this year. So that is most of the places that you can get free stuff at for your birthday. Obviously, I didn't go to all of them. There are so many more, including Olive Garden, Applebee's, uh, Krispy Kreme, all the random places that I really don't have on the island. Whose dog is going crazy? Because, like, Rainbow would never. I hope you guys sign up for all these things come your time of year and your birthday. You can get all the free stuff, too, and it's really fun and really exciting, and I always take advantage of rewards and points, especially in restaurants and especially in coffee chains because... Why wouldn't you? Without any further ado, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and follow me over on Instagram and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!